Welcome, my friends. Meta just gave thousands of employees poor performance reviews. Everyone seems to be thinking that could clear the way for more layoffs. Meta has said this is its year of efficiency. Well, as you probably know, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg just laid off 11,000 employees. But Meta employees are not taking this so well. Ask me why I am not surprised. Meta employees are publishing negative comments regarding CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Meta had a disastrous Q3 earnings call, to say the least. Wall Street analysts are getting very frustrated about the shrinking core business at Meta. And about Mark Zuckerberg's insistence on spending so heavily on the metaverse. It is almost as if Meta is abandoning the business that rocketed it to the top of the social network hierarchy. And they are deciding that the future will be nothing like the past. Mark Zuckerberg made it clear that the future of Meta is the metaverse. But that this is a very long-term investment. So Wall Street analysts are beside themselves and do not know really what to think. And now there is increasing pressure on Meta to cut costs and lay off even more employees. And, like a lot of Silicon Valley unicorn companies, time has come for the business to be rationalized. That is a tough medicine to swallow. And some companies will not emerge from this period alive. Others will have to merge with stronger companies. Some will probably shut down. Silicon Valley has become layoff valley. Normally, the layoff percentages range from 10% to around 20%. That has normally been a fairly high percentage of employees to be cut in a layoff. But now that Twitter has made a 50% layoff seem acceptable, will that become the new normal? Are we about to see other tech companies cut their employee bases by 50%, or maybe even more? This video continues our coverage of the wave of layoffs sweeping the United States. What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. It is only a couple of months since Meta laid off 11,000 employees. Now there are signs the company could be preparing for another wave of cuts. Meta is the parent company of Facebook and Instagram. And it has reportedly ranked thousands of employees as subpar. There was a recent wave of performance reviews. And that's raising fears among workers. Declining revenues at Meta suggest that more belt tightening is on the way. Those concerns come after CEO and founder Mark Zuckerberg declared 2023 a year of efficiency. At least, that is what he said on an earnings call at the beginning of February. Managers gave about 10% of the company's workers poor reviews. It is, in some ways, a return to Meta's pre-pandemic review process. Zuckerberg was said to be pretty harsh with his assessments of workers. The threat of additional layoffs comes just days after the company delayed finalizing budgets. We're working on flattening our org structure and removing some layers of middle management to make decisions faster, said Zuckerberg. We are also deploying AI tools to help our engineers be more productive, Zuckerberg said. We're going to be more proactive about cutting projects that aren't performing or may no longer be as crucial, Zuckerberg continued. Meta's metaverse division seems to be safe from job cuts. But Horizon Worlds has failed to engage users. That includes some who work at the company. Meta's Reality Labs division was responsible for $13.7 billion in losses last year. Nevertheless, Zuckerberg remains committed to it. Other divisions do not seem to have that protected status. We closed last year with some difficult layoffs and restructuring some teams. Zuckerberg said. When we did this, I said clearly that this was the beginning of our focus on efficiency and not the end, Zuckerberg added. Not everyone has a positive view of Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg. That includes a lot of people who once worked for the company. Our CEO will single-handedly kill the company with the metaverse, said on Meta Software Developer. Meta employees are expressing their feelings about Mark Zuckerberg in employee reviews on Blind. Blind is an anonymous online forum. Some of the reviews were posted on the very day that Meta laid off 13% of its workforce. As you might expect, many of the reviews are negative. But, some of the reviews are more positive. These layoffs are like the Hunger Games, said one user. The Facebook owner had an uncertain future, said another user. The Blind app is a place where employees can express their grievances in posts and reviews. And it is a place where people can see what was being said about Meta and its famously embattled CEO. About 44 employee reviews of Meta were posted on Blind this week. 
The metaverse will be our slow death, said one senior software developer. Mark Zuckerberg will single-handedly kill a company with the metaverse, the user continued. Zuckerberg held an all-hands Zoom meeting and apologized to staff for the need to cut 11,000 jobs. He admitted that he got this wrong. Zuck is leading this company in the wrong direction, said one former employee in a post on the day of the layoff announcements. Meta is in need of layoffs in executive level, said one metadata scientist. Leadership is having no clue, they mistake motion for a progress, the data scientist continued. Working at Meta is an overall great place to experience, said one recruiter who worked for Meta. Mark is not afraid to take risks. And that can be a good and bad thing, said the recruiter. Poor leadership is on track to sink this ship, said one senior technical program manager at Meta. Good pay perks, benefits and talented peers are working at Meta, they continued. No accountability at an above director level. VPs and directors are here to just milk the company without adding any value, they continued. I thought it was a data-driven company, they said. But actually it is one man's gut feeling and emotions driven, they added. Nobody can override his decision, they also said. Many Meta employees are actually very supportive of Mark Zuckerberg. I felt that CEO Mark Zuckerberg handled the layoffs with humanity, said one employee who was laid off. That mass layoff was the worst layoff in history, said one Meta engineer. With the layoff, I wouldn't recommend anyone to work there until the stock price fully recovers, the engineer continued. If you follow this channel or technology news in general, you already know that Meta is laying off 13% of its employees. That amounts to more than 11,000 employees. CEO Mark Zuckerberg officially confirmed the layoff in a letter to employees today. Shares of Meta rose by almost 8% following the announcement. The layoffs come during what is, perhaps, the roughest of times for Facebook parent company Meta. The guidance, and, frankly, comments from Zuckerberg basically spooked Wall Street analysts. Shares in Meta sank nearly 20% after what I would call a disastrous earnings call. Wall Street analysts have been concerned about Meta's rising costs and expenses. Those expenses jumped 19% year over year in Q3 to $22.1 billion. The company's overall sales declined 4% to $27.71 billion in Q3. Q3 operating income fell 46% from Q3 of last year to $5.66 billion. The verbal exchanges between Wall Street analysts and Zuckerberg during the earnings call show just how different their visions for Meta are. Zuckerberg characterized the cuts as basically across the board. Zuckerberg and Meta are basically all in on investing in the metaverse. In a nutshell, the metaverse is a yet-to-be-developed digital world. The metaverse can only be accessed via virtual reality and augmented reality headsets. This is a major bet on the company's future and Meta has invested $9.4 billion so far in 2022. Meta had around 87,000 employees at the end of Q3. Meta's shares now stand at their lowest since early 2016. And Meta is now the worst performer in the S&P 500. Many tech companies of all sizes are announcing layoffs this year. Twitter rocked the tech world with a massive 50% layoff. Lyft cut 13% of its employees. And, of course, these layoffs come at a time of strong macroeconomic headwinds. If you follow this channel, you already know the economic narrative of the day. Inflation is raging in most countries of the world. Central banks in most countries are aggressively raising interest rates in order to fight inflation. Despite all of that so far, soaring inflation and Fed tightening persist. And the United States is teetering on the brink of a recession. A growing number of companies are cutting their payrolls. Most CEOs believe that a recession is coming and want to prepare their companies for it. So, people are feeling uneasy about the security of their jobs. Consumers are pulling back on discretionary spending. Corporate marketers are cutting back on ad spending, especially online. And ad spending is the lifeblood of most big tech companies. New Twitter CEO Elon Musk cut 50% of the headcount at Twitter. All of these companies are citing deteriorating economic trends and a weak macroeconomic environment. Netflix has cut 450 jobs in two rounds of layoffs. Scores of other smaller tech companies have announced job cuts. Stripe laid off 15%. Lyft cut 13%. Snap. Owner of Snapchat, announced a 20% reduction of employees. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you.
Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.